minutes from Louisville, where life is quiet and one of the biggest problems is speeding. If you find yourself in Greenville, Indiana, you'll be greeted by friendly faces and helpful neighbors. In this week's Small Town Sunday, Lexi Sheen shows us what life is like in this tiny Floyd County town. Greenville, Indiana welcomes people with open arms. It's the type of place where residents stop by City Hall just to see if there's anything they can help with, no matter if they've lived there for a year or forever. Everyone feels right at home in Greenville. Lifelong resident, been here all my life. Whether they've been here a lifetime or just a little time, Greenville, Indiana is the epitome of a small town hometown to these residents. Pride is prevalent here. It's a great place. It's it's small town. It's uh, a lot of people. Everybody knows everybody, uh, especially in a downtown older district. And we all look out for each other, and that's the great thing about small towns. Jack Trevilian has been the clerk treasurer in this Floyd County community for 11 years. This town of about 730 people has a lot to offer, and even more impressive is the history. Greenville was founded in 1816 and soon became a bustling destination. At the time, we had a lot of hotels and livery stables, and this used to be a stagecoach stop going from New Albany to Paoli. But in 1908, we had a great fire that pretty well wiped out the town. Without a fire department until the 1940s, that fire caused so much destruction, Jack says the town never really recovered. Burnt down our school, a lot of homes, and it was just a very tragic day in Greenville history. Parts of Greenville have been rebuilt, but few original icons remain. There's some, a lot of history, like the uh, Methodist Church, been there since 1899. It survived the Great Fire. It was one of the few buildings that did. Greenville is now home to two fire stations, and there are two police officers, the town marshal and his deputy. Their cell phone numbers are listed on the city's website. It's that type of personal service that brought John Bram here 18 months ago. Now he's on the town council. I stop by every day to see if there's anything going on that I need to help with or anything like that. Just to stop in and help out? Well, sure. Bram is a Vietnam veteran. Strictly the street that I live on, there's five veterans. The camaraderie of Greenville is very important to him. People even check on each other as they fill up at the gas station. That's an area where you can go in and they have a seating area where you can go in and we always get coffee and you can sit down and somebody will sit down beside of you and we start talking. And I met a lot of people there. There are a lot of lifelong residents in town and more people moving in all the time. We moved here about 13 years ago. My husband retired from the military and we wanted small town life. Fell in love with Greenville. The lifestyle, school system, and opportunities are a big draw. It's a main thoroughfare. You know, there's a lot of people commute into, into town. That's what we call Louisville. US 150 brings a lot of cars through every day. We have a lot of traffic coming by this location, a lot of traffic. Our town limits really only run about two miles down the highway. Uh, and then there's just a couple of side roads that are less than an eighth of a mile probably off the highway. So it's very small. But it's convenient. We can be in Louisville or uh, Cincinnati, large cities, anywhere in no time at all. It's great. Though most agree there is always room for growth, they know they've found a great and safe place to live. Problem we have is speedy. <laughs> Lexi Sheen, WLKY News. In next week's Small Town Sunday, Lexi takes us back to Greenville, Indiana, for a look at some unique small businesses in operation there. She'll also show us what's in store for the future. Remember, if you'd like to see your town featured, let us know. You can Facebook us or 